Hi, welcome back to Garden Obsessed. <laughs> I've got my dog here, my coffee here, and my 2022 Dahlia spreadsheet. That's Lola. She has really good timing. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about what I'm growing in 2022. There's still lots of time to order dahlias. Um, it seemed like at the beginning of the season there was quite a rush to get, you know, the certain few varieties. Good girl. There was a rush at the beginning of the season to get, you know, the certain hot commodity tubers. I was able to get a few of them. I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I've got a ton of new things to grow this year and I I don't think I'll be trying to buy any more. I'm not even sure I have room for the ones that I have. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. There are, I think in excess of 50 varieties. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, I'm interrupting this regularly scheduled Dahlia program. Uh, to let you know that my phone, I edit everything on my phone and I wasn't able to render this as a single video. So I've had to break it up into two parts. So I have four color categories in each video. It should be a pretty even split. And now I'll let you get back to it. So the first, I have them broken down into categories. And the first category that I have is black or, or red. I didn't have any that I grew last year that I would consider to be in this category. So the first one that I have ordered for this year is Black Narcissus. It's a really pretty dark, deep burgundy color. It's a cactus, I believe, and it's between six and eight inches. The blooms are between six and eight inches. So that will be lovely, and it's a form that's different than anything that I grew this year. Most, most of the things that I grew were balls, and it still is, but it'll be nice to have some variety this year. The next one that I have ordered is Cornell. I grew Cornell bronze last year, but Cornell is a similar form and also said to be very productive, except that it's a red ball. So... I'm happy and excited to grow that one. The next one is one called Short Track, which I couldn't find very much information about it. The place that I ordered it from seems to be the only place that it has it. So I don't know if it's something that somehow got renamed and it's actually something else, I don't know. But, I'll, and I'll throw pictures, pictures of everything up. I don't know what the correct form is or the bloom size. I think it's a plant that's on the shorter side. It said um, on the website where I ordered it that it was two to three feet. So we'll find out. The next one is one that I have ordered pending availability. So I'm not entirely 100% sure that I'll actually get this daily or not. I hope so because it's Holly Hill Black Widow and it is gorgeous. It's also, it's a similar color to the Black Narcissus, but it's a water lily type. And I had one or two water lilies this year and I fell in love with that form. So I would really love to have this one to add. They have four inch blooms on a fairly tall plant. The next one is one that Jarrett ordered for, for me for Christmas. The next two are actually ones that Jarrett ordered. The first one is Akita. It's a decorative dinner plate uh, blooms are 10 inches and it's um, I don't know if it would be considered a cactus type as well or not it looks it looks like I don't know that my forms very well but it looks like it could be considered like a semi cactus or something and it is red with kind of yellow orange bases to the petals and white tips the next one that he ordered was Babylon Red, which I don't think it's technically a dinner plate, but the bloom size is six to eight inches, so it's on the large side. And it's a decorative, and it's also, I think, probably the truest red that I have. So it will be, I'm sure, gorgeous. 
Uh, that's it for the black and red category. The next category is orange and peach. This is probably one of the categories that I had the most of last year. So I'll go through those fairly quick. So the first is Cornell bronze, four inch bronze colored ball. Uh, super productive, loved it. We'll grow it multiple multiples of it this year. Um, the next one is Sylvia or Marne. It was a four inch ball. It, it could probably, no, I would call it orange. Um, it, it's like a dark, dark yellow. Um, and it was, I loved the form of it. It, it was such a clear, bright color. I loved it. The next one is Ben Houston, which is a dinner plate, bloom size eight to 10 inches. And I also really loved this one. It was one of the ones that I got as a, as part of a variety pack. I don't know that I ever would have picked it. And I'm so glad that I got it because it, it was one of my favorites last year. The next one was hard to classify, so I looked up where some other people placed it on the color spectrum, but it's Wine Eyed Jill, and it's because it has like all colors in it. It has pink, it has yellow, it has purple, um, but I, it ended up in this category, and it is a four inch ball, formal or formal decorative. I saw it described as both, and it also was a favorite. Now we're into some of the new ones that I have ordered. So the first one I actually didn't order. Um, a woman on our, a local Dahlia Facebook page was moving and getting rid of a lot of her Dahlias. So um, I was able to pick up two from her. One is an unknown orange ball. So we'll see what that is. Um, and the other one I'll get to later in the berry category. Um, another one that I ordered that may or may not be available depending on how the tubers store is Celeste. I also wasn't able to find out a whole lot of information about this one, but it looks sort of similar to like a Rebecca's World and that the back few layers of the petals are a different color than the front layers of the petals except it's completely different color. It's uh, more like a creamsicle orange color in the back layers with like white petals on the front with orange bases. So it should be interesting. And I'm looking forward to that one if I, if I am able to get it. The next one that I have ordered is Snow Ho Doris. This one was also kind of difficult to categorize. It looks like it might be one of those color chameleon type dahlias. Um, it's between four and five inch ball, and I'm looking forward to that one. The next one is Jowy Chantel, which is definitely an orange ball type, and the blooms are between three and a half and four inches. <laughs> Somebody wants me to play with her. <laughs> All right, on to yellows. So I grew Blight and Softer Gleam last year, and I absolutely loved it. I'm not sure if it's the best tuber producer. The one I had didn't produce very many, but I have enough to try again this year, so we'll see how it goes. It's um, a ball type and the blooms are five inches. The next one was also a surprise and I received a couple of them from that variety pack that I ordered last year. It is Sunny Boy, they're three to four inch flowers. It's a ball type and prolific bloomer and probably the best tuber producer that I had of all the types. The next one I'm referring to as not Boom Boom Yellow because it was supposed to be Boom Boom Yellow and I'm fairly certain that it is not Boom Boom Yellow. Um, I didn't take the best notes so I don't remember what the bloom size and the height of the plant and things were, but it it was brighter yellow than I think Boom Boom is supposed to be, and I'll be doing some investigation this year to see if I can kind of figure out what it is, or at least, you know, one that it's similar to. So, um, because my buttercream yellow did not turn out to be buttercream yellow, I went ahead and ordered Lemon Drops this year, which is a four inch decorative type that has light yellow blooms. It should, should, uh, be pretty and then I ordered little Scotty which is a pom-pom type 
uh, the blooms are only two inches and I hadn't grown any pom-poms before so there's a few that I have ordered this year um, I think I'm going to love them so we'll see and then the last one in the yellow category that I've ordered is Golden Torch, which looks like a classic yellow three inch ball. And I think that will be pretty as well. So now on to the white category. White is something that I had only ordered one white tuber last year and it ended up being one of the ones that didn't make it. But I ended up getting one in um, that variety pack that I had ordered, which turned out to be white ice out, which is a, is a ball on the smaller side, two to three inches. And I also ended up with what I'm calling my bride to be look alike. Um, it was a four inch water lily white dahlia that ended up being in a package of cafe au lait that I had gotten from Walmart. So it obviously wasn't cafe au lait, but I was very happy to have it and it was very prolific. Um, those being the only two, I decided I definitely needed more. So I ordered one which possibly could have gone in a different category, but it's mostly white, um, called Evelyn. It has kind of lavender tips of the center petals, and it is a four inch ball, I believe. I also ordered Boom Boom White, which is a five inch white ball. Um, Next, I ordered Florel, which is an eight inch decorative type that many people swear by. And another that many people swear by is Petra's Wedding, which is a three inch ball that's also said to be very prolific and good in cut flower bouquets, which is what I want them for. So. Please head on over to part two of the video to see the other half of the dahlias that I'm growing in 2022.